Welcome back to another episode of Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, where I've been using real-world close quarters battle tactics and doctrine to play this game, Door Kickers 2 Task Force North. In today's episode, we're going to be performing a hostage rescue. We continue to work our way through the campaign. As we know, when we do a hostage rescue, we're going more towards dynamic entry. We're putting the lives of our assaulters at risk more so than we typically would because the imperative of the mission is to locate and extract the hostage safely. Those are all things that I've kept in mind as while designing this plan. For the first time, I attempted a single plan for this mission. Turns out hostage rescues are not the levels to try a single plan clearance on. After per performing my analysis of the map, I determined that I believe the hostage would be located in the room that's in the northeastern quadrant of the actual compound proper. And, well, the plan uh, simply didn't account for changes in the situation and uh, ended up causing me to get canalized in a hallway, not be able to get into the rooms that I needed to, and ultimately be destroyed by the enemy as a result. So we then trended back towards a more dynamic style of planning and execution as I typically do and obviously had a lot more success whenever we did that. I did find the single plan interesting and after I finished my playthrough of a dynamic style playthrough I might go back into a single plan playthrough because there's lots to learn in that regard as well. Okay clearly my attempts to do a single plan through this level are not going to work out so we're going to go more traditional and we'll see how that breaks down. We already kind of know Swap this guy out real quick. There we go. Roger. All right, so we're going two uh, of our automatic riflemen and then four assaulters. We're still doing the hostage rescue, and the goal here is going to be to maintain that same plan. So pie off this corner, wall charge here, dominate this space, move into the hallway, dominate this space, maintain security on this door, and then do a dynamic entry and clearance of this room once that's all said and done. Move through here to where we think that the hostage is going to be located. But since we're going to be going turn by turn in a dynamic fashion, uh, we'll adjust our plan as need be. But let's go ahead and uh, and get started with our planning. First things first, we're going to start pying off this corner. But we're going to make that contingent on a successful wall shot. We're also going to maintain rear security here. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Here's our wall shot. So we're going to come up here, place this wall shot, and then back off. We're going to have security while we're putting that wall shot in place. Okay. Let's make it happen, boys. Security is set. Setting in that wall shot right now. As soon as that wall shot is set, we're going to back off and hold this angle once again. I'm going to time this to A, so we're going to blow this wall shot, and then we're also going to pie simultaneously. So wall shot's going off. Alpha, go. Nice, we got simo entry, really good geometry into this space. Uh, this room is essentially clear. I think I've made a good L, like we always talk about, and that's giving me a really good sector of fire here. So I can even see behind this dead space, even though there's like a little cart in the way. And then these two guys, just by pying off this corner, have allowed me to see into here and long. I do have a little bit of dead space right there, a little bit of dead space right there. So I will go ahead and do the equivalent of high lowing this corner just to make sure that we're looking good. These guys still have security long. Okay. Okay, that's looking good. We're immediately going to start working to dominate this space. All right, we've now completely locked down this location. We're going to go ahead and make entry and prepare to move to our next location. Maintain rear security the whole time. Okay, still got rear security. We're going to set both those wall charges. And then come on back. We've got security for this guy as he sets in both of these door shots. Remember, this is a hostage rescue. That timer started. There's a lot of risk with taking my time to go in. But we know that this is going to be a really kinetic environment. And so we are using some violence of action and being a little bit more deliberate about how we enter. All right, we're going to blow both of these wall shots and then at the same time to have a flashbang. I do want to put a flashbang deep. I'm going to tie that flashbang to A as well. Let's go ahead and do this now. 
All right, we've got a flashbang in the hallway. We've got four assaulters with good lines of fire down the hallway. That flashbang is going to go off. We're going to chase that flashbang in. This assaulter is going to move up to here. The whole time he does that, he's going to maintain cross coverage on this door. This assaulter is going to follow him. As he does that, the whole time he's going to maintain security far. This guy is also going to move up. He's going to maintain cross coverage on this door. This guy is also going to move up. He's going to maintain security long. This guy is going to hold in reserve right here. This guy is going to hold in reserve right here. So we still have rear security. Cross coverage looks good. We've already cleared 50% of this room. We're going to maintain security long. I'm going to go ahead and do I have a guy with a flashbang? This guy can get a flashbang in this door. Once he gets that flashbang in that door, we will chase it in. Wait for the flashbang to go out. Flashbang is out. We're going to go dynamic into this room by doing a quick button hook. First thing he's going to do is clear far threat. Next thing he's going to do is clear his corner. Once that corner is clear and secure, he's going to take two walls. This is a center fed room. We're doing a two man clear. Once he takes that wall, he'll have nice open sector of fire. Second man's going to come in. This room is already clear on this portion, uh, but we still want to commit two barrels to the breach just to be uh, a thorough. That'll give us our L right there. So bangers out. Here we go. And that room is now clear and secure. Now that that room is clear and secure, we can move past this breach and we can also move into cross coverage on this door. All right, we've got security on this door that's gonna remain locked down for the duration. Uh, we Remember, we're not assessing that the hostages are in this room. And we also see these windows as a huge threat. So by going in here, I'm exposing myself to direct fire from anyone that could be barricaded out here in the courtyard. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and forego that for as long as possible. Our next threat is this door. We've got four assaulters that are not occupied by cover in this position. So we're going to use those four assaulters to get in here. Let's move this guy forward a little bit. Same thing here. Move this guy forward a little bit. Okay. That's that four man stack that I'm going to continue to use. Four man stack is good to go. Okay, we've seen this before. We're going to put two of our door charges on each of these doors while also pulling security on them to prevent any enemy that are going to be flowing this way from affecting our guy. Once both of those charges are in place, um, we will trigger them both with alpha maintain security on both doors, work this geometry, and then ultimately move into this fatal funnel, uh, dominate it by pulling security long and also pulling security on this door. We'll have to make a decision on whether or not we think we need to clear this before going after our hostage who we believe is in there. So let's go ahead and get it done. We've got security for him while he's putting charges on the door. This is dangerous because he is standing in front of a door after a gunfight. So people could easily spray through this door. A lot of risk right now with what we're doing. I think it's important to maintain security while we do it. All right, we're going to cheat guys forward. Um, these are door charges. They are, you know, they could potentially harm you for sure if they go off near you, especially if you're standing in front of them exactly like we are. The game doesn't simulate that yet. Hopefully it will, but right now um, it, it is safe to, uh, to use them in this fashion, at least for the sake of the game. So we're going to move the stack forward. Everyone's looking good. This is going to be... A, uh, a dynamic clear. We're going to go ahead and use this guy. Get a flashbang out right here. We'll trigger that with A. Okay, we're going to blow these charges, work this geometry for one second, put a banger in the hallway. After that banger, we'll chase it in, dominate the hallway. Here we go. Banger went off. Took a little bit of damage, but we're still doing okay. This guy's already looking this direction, so he'll go far. Whole time pulling security this way. This guy's going to move forward, maintain security on this door. This guy's going to move with his buddy. High load this hallway. This guy's going to maintain rear security, but keep cheating up. All right, we've got good security. This door was open. I think we took a counterattack from that room. We may not have the hostage in there that we initially believe we did. We still have this door locked down. Oh, man. All right, our biggest threat now is this open breach, potentially. So we're going to go ahead and work that open breach by pieing it off. The challenge, of course, is going to be protecting the flank of the guy that pies it off because he's in a hallway. So we will pie with this guy. And then as soon as he gets to this point, he'll transition this way. 
simultaneously maintaining security to our rear, maintaining security in this door, maintaining security in this door. So everybody should be safe based off of the maneuver that we've just planned. Okay, there was an enemy in there um, rather than a hostage. Uh, we've got good security on both of these doors. I'm going to maintain that. Uh, I do believe that we need to get this door open and get in here because I don't want to start trying to solve any other problems in this room um, or out in the car courtyard with a, an uncleared room to my rear. So, um, gosh, how to do this? I'm going to use who has what? You have a wall charge. We still need to maintain rear security. I'm going to pull this guy so it'll be a two-man clear. Glad we had security. Okay, our biggest threats right now are these two open doors. We just took multiple contacts through it. I'm going to use two barrels to cover both of those doors. Uh, and then I'm going to drop rear security, which is a risk. But if we look out here, um, you know, real world, of course, we'd have some like isolation or containment elements that are in battle positions um, around this place so that it's cored on safely and we wouldn't have to worry about our flanks. So I'm going to just, you know, assume that that is the case, uh, despite the fact that it doesn't appear to be simulated in the game. And, uh, and with that in mind, I am going to move this guy forward and use the guy who was pulling rear security to help with a dynamic entry into this room. Again, we're going to prep that with a flashbang and then chase that in. Okay, we've got this door open. We're still taking some contact from this direction. These guys pulling security have it locked down pretty good. And then we haven't gotten anyone to open that door yet. Flashbang's going in. Near threat, corner, corner, push. And then our guy that just threw the flashbang. Go opposite. Okay, that room is clear and secure. Um, now all we have left is this and this. I hope there's no hostages out here in this courtyard. <laughs> um, okay, what we'll do is I'm going to put a camera. Correction, there we go. Camera under this door. This guy's going to sprint to cover this guy. Ooh, okay, there's my hostages. I've got one enemy there and one enemy there. Oh, man. All right, so that's super dangerous. I don't want to go running into this room. Um, I also don't want to be sitting in front of the door, and I want to try to shoot those guys. Looks like I also have an enemy outside looking in those windows. So one, two, three, four enemy that I know of. Uh, most of these guys could be engaged if I, like, pied this corner. The problem there is I'm taking a shot across my hostages and I don't want my hostages to get dead um, man all right here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do a simo flashbang explosive breach dynamic entry to kill these three guys whilst I uh, simultaneously pying off this corner to take a long shot on this guy this is gonna be very difficult to uh, to achieve uh, but we're gonna go for it so these guys are gonna creep forward Okay, we took one shot long, knocked out a fifth enemy combatant. I have four more that I know of. This guy's now oriented on that door. That's not good. This guy's now oriented on that door. That's not good. These guys, I'm out of wall charges, which is really what I need in this situation. This is going to be tough. All right, so it is a simo clear, but we're getting a, a handheld in from the opposite direction. That handheld will allow us to enter dynamically through the locked door and hopefully pull some attention towards this breach. So if that handheld is on A, everyone else is going to be on B. Yeah, oh man, there's, this is not good. Um, and then the last thing we'll do... Who's throwing the handheld? Okay, all right, here's the situation. 
I've got it all planned out now. We're gonna put a handheld into this room. That's going to disable or at least cause a diversionary reaction to these three enemy combatants. I have one, maybe two here, and then an unknown number that could still be deep. Once that handheld goes off, I'm going to perform dynamic entry with the dynamic hand hammer and do a four-man entry and conduct battle drill six in this room, prioritizing the engagement of one, two, three enemy combatants. Simultaneously with the detonation of the handheld and that dynamic entry, I'm going to cross this fatal funnel um, with, uh, with Philly, who's going to pie this corner and try to take a deep shot uh, on these guys over here. This is a high risk, high reward. Um, frankly, don't know that it'll be successful, um, but we're going to see how it goes. Handheld's out. Hammers are going off. We took one casualty. Bravo, go. Okay, we did take one casualty. All right, this room is clear and secure. The security of the hostages is now our primary responsibility. We lost Philly over here. I am going to peek this corner once again. We have one more hostage, or one more enemy combatant deep. Hostages are secure. All enemy combatants have been eliminated. Okay, that last dynamic entry was the biggest challenge. Um, the hostages being located in the room that we weren't planning against was, of course, a challenge. Appreciate you guys watching. The easiest way to support the channel so that more of this content keeps coming out is by subscribing to it. And I'm Controlled Pairs, and I play the most immersive PC games in the world. This is Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, and I will see you in the next one.